What's up party people? It's your boy here with another video. So I um, just spent thousand dollars on a new camera. I thought I have nothing to film so I decided to record another video so that wasn't a complete waste of money. And what this video is going to be just a little bit of an update on my life. I'm sure everybody's extremely interested in what I'm up to. Yeah I am so it only makes sense. So without further ado let's move on to the first thing. Uh, so first things first, despite the fact that I did software engineering, I actually managed to wrangle myself a girl. She's actually here right now, but she doesn't like to be on film, so it is what it is. Probably a shame to be seen with me. I'll be as well. This is gonna be in the video. No. So, uh, how did we meet? Well, we actually met through Tinder. You know, pretty much the conversation went like this. Uh, I found out that she did software engineering and she complimented me and that's all it really took. But, you know, being serious, we had some really good conversations. It was really fun. We hit it up and we went on like a couple of dates. We really enjoyed each other's company. Well, I like think so. And before we knew it, we'd been going out for six months. You know, I remember once I took her out to this very expensive $700 dinner. Um, and at the time, it seemed like a lot of money. But now I realize like in hindsight, it was definitely worth it. Because every time she tries to bring up anything, I just remind her of that dinner that we had six months ago. Yeah, whenever we have to decide for who's paying for the Uber or who's gonna go down and pick up the package from our apartment. You know, it's, I always bring up this, it's like 0 0.5, 0 0.5 uh, key dinners. Key is the restaurant that we went. And I think that's been a very good investment of my money. So that's a pro dating tip for all of you. Yeah, we even um, went on a little like road trip together to this place called Newcastle. Uh, we went kayaking, sand dune, dirt bike riding. Made some really good memories. Um, honestly, it's just been a really good time. It's really nice having someone else to create memories with and all, all of that. Um, she's a great companion on the journey of life. I'm really gonna enjoy seeing where this goes. I can definitely see it going somewhere long term. Next minute we break up next month, but we'll see. <laughs> Alright, so next up is the actually important news. I got two cats, they had babies, and now I have nine cats. So the story of how that ended up happening is that one day my sister was walking outside of our apartment and she saw a cat tower packaging in one of the bins outside and she was thinking, hmm, you know, that could be us. And so she tried to convince me to get a cat. I said no, and then we got a cat. But then this cat, yeah, you know, it was very cute, it was very nice. Uh, if I'm doing a good job, I have footage up here and you can look at him and say, or, or you want, uh, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't shut up at night. I would just be outside outdoors. It was and just meowing because it was too lonely. And yeah, you know, he's a very affectionate cat, so it makes sense. So we got him a little companion. It was the other uh, female cat. She's very cute as well. Um, what ended up happening was that they actually, uh, so we got the male D6, but turns out it ends up taking 30 days for that to actually come into effect, and we didn't know that. So our female cat got pregnant, and she had seven kittens. But one died. So we have six kittens. Very, very sad, very sad. Yeah, um, overall, it was honestly like one of the most interesting experiences that I've had in my whole life. Um, yeah, my apartment still stinks of cat shit. We haven't sold them, so yeah, they're still here. So we start off with the birth. That was fairly traumatic, but luckily we had one of my girlfriend's uh, veterinary friends. She was on call. Yeah, she was helping us there with the birth. And then slowly over time, these kittens grew up and soon we'll be selling them. I'm honestly pretty glad I don't have to be dodging the piles of cat shit on my carpet anymore. And you know, and you know I remember when I was young, my parents would always say that I couldn't get a pet because it was too much responsibility. And I would always be asking for a cat or a dog. Well, it was mainly a dog to be honest, but they would always say no, it was too much responsibility. And you know what? Now I understand them. It is too much responsibility. But you know, in this case, it was definitely worth it. We're gonna be keeping um, two of the cats. Well, like in total, we're gonna remain with two cats. It, it was a lot of good fun. And I'll be definitely sad to say goodbye to these cute little guys. All right, so uh, here I am demonstrating how much cat shit I clean. This is one of the many blobs around the house. So first you do a little wipe, you get most of it, and then you do a little scrub. And that's how you clean up cat shit. Uh, so that's it for this video. I'm probably gonna be hopefully coming up with more content for this channel Because I just spent thousand dollars on a camera, so I better use it There's gonna be definitely maybe more videos like this. Who knows? I, I, I don't know Maybe I'll film some places I go to in Sydney and embarrass myself publicly uh, Talking to a camera in the middle of the street and there's probably gonna be more fitness videos because I got fat and there'll be more of that in a video that's coming up soon so <laughs> definitely stay tuned or don't honestly I don't really care nobody watches these videos anyway and have a good day.